This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. You had a, a double double in the red white game, and you got the start the other night and, and made an impact on both ends. Uh, just curious how you feel about your your showing so far and, and how you're settling in with the program. Uh, I just got to bring what I can bring to the table. I know guys want to bring their offensive skills. I feel like, you know, you got to separate yourself by doing the little things. And I feel like me rebounding and doing like being on like using my length on the defensive end, I feel like they'll probably separate me the most on this team so far. And then as a forward, you, you're probably going to be one of the guys to to get to mix it up with Zach Eady a little bit on Saturday. Just just curious what you make of him as a player and, and just kind of embracing that challenge of, of facing the returning national player of the year. Uh, it's going to be a, a tough matchup for us. You know, we got a lot of guys going to be guarding him, like forwards to forwards and the fives. I feel like um, for all, offensive wise, we just got to run the floor and just put them in so much pick and roll coverage, and I feel like we just got to outrun him. The goal is just to run, 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 just make him just keep up with us and our athletic system. I feel like on the defensive end, it's going to be a, a whole group team effort. You know, we've been doing a lot of drills to practice late, the eater rules <laughs> that we call. I feel like uh, we're doing pretty much a great thing uh, at practice, just covering what, what Zach Eater like to do in, in his tendency. Bob? Yeah, Chandler, sound like like it'll be a, a I know Mus is a man to man guy, but it sounds like it's gonna be men on 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 EDD. Is it gonna take a team effort on him? Yeah, it's gonna be a team effort. I feel like we've been practicing like so much in the gap this week. I feel like we over overdoing a lot of things. I feel like all eyes are gonna be on Zach Eady, but we still have to watch out for the shooters and everybody else. You know, we just don't wanna give out too much and give up open open areas and, and other other spots on the court. And it just how's I mean it's I know it's an exhibition game, doesn't count on the record. Um I, I don't know when when you guys were in Memphis, did you guys play any uh you know what you call high level exhibition games? Uh we play like D two, you know, we don't see you know you don't see too many like top fifteen uh matches like this in October. I feel like this would be a great challenge for us and also for them to see what we need to work on in the future. I feel like this is a, you know, yeah, this is a, this is a, a, a huge testimony for us, you know, to see what we need to work on in the future. I feel like a lot of guys are ready and I feel like we are getting prepared for this moment and it's like a, a March Madness matchup and I feel like it's going to be a great, great event Saturday for the fans to come see in October. Yeah, it's an exhibition game. It doesn't count, but it sounds like you guys are are taking it pretty seriously. I, I think Eric takes everything pretty seriously. Or how, how would you you feel like it's it's a regular season game or something? Yeah, I feel like every game is a regular game. We take we don't we take every game serious. You know, you never know. You can't underestimate nobody. I feel like even the last game we played, we took that game serious into into details. I feel like we, for, for here on out, we're taking every game serious. You know, after practice. I mean, after the game last week, we went straight to right on Purdue, you know what I'm saying, and start preparing for them. I feel like even though this is an exhibition game, I feel like this is a game to let us know what we need to work on. I feel like this will help us get prepared for the season. And you're you're part of a big transfer class. And Eric, you know, he's known for bringing in transfers going back to the Nevada days. What is it about Eric and his staff and the program that you think attracts so many uh, high-level transfers like, like, like you guys? I feel like they're doing the winning, the winning that he brings to his program, I feel like that attracts a lot of transfer. You know, he 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 know how to use his guys and put them in a position to win. I feel like and get them in a better position on the court and off the court and for the after the season. I feel like that way help that way will make them get a lot of guys and bring them in together. Okay, I might have a couple more, but I'll turn it back to Mike. Thanks, Jackson. Yeah, Chandler. It seems like you guys have a like a pretty versatile group of bigs um, between the four or five of you guys and you all have different kind of uh, strengths. How how valuable can that be? Have you guys talked about, you know, each of you guys have to kind of impact the game in different ways for the, for the collective result to be what you want? Yeah, I feel like most of us can like, we can, I feel like most everybody on the team can shoot jump shots. I feel like everybody very much versatile. I feel like for the bigs, you're just going to have to outrun him and just 
use our quickness on the offense and the defense. You got to work work early on the uh, defense end and just make sure we have our weak side help coverage on point and make sure we're just working hard as, as possible and just getting fresh bodies in to, you know, wham, it's that up. Thanks. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Before I go back to Bob, anybody else say anything to Chandler? Yeah, Chandler, real fast. I'm wondering what in your eyes TB is like behind the scenes and in practice and what, in your opinion, kind of makes him different? Uh, Right now, TB, uh, so far, uh, he been really laid back because he been, like, on the side, like, recovering. But if, when he came back, he was more of like teach me like the tendencies and what coach need and telling me what's gonna be this, what's gonna be that. I feel like TV's been like a like a veteran to me because he know what coach wants. I feel like he set the set the standard high for for us, and I feel like he's been a great role model. It's just like being here on time, getting recovery, you know, just being here early, and just setting the example for for the new guys. Bob, follow up. Yeah, I don't know if you heard Jermaine, he called you nasty. Um, and did you hear him say that? And what what did you think of that? Uh, nasty about what part? I guess you're like a nasty player. I don't. I, don't, I mean, I guess he, he means that in a good way. I guess a tough guy. You bring it, you know, type stuff. You said that I was nasty. Yeah, he said you were nasty. Yeah. I mean, I like you know, I do like the nasty, dirty work. You know, I'm I'm a I'm a good guy as, as well. You know. I like to do all the dirty work and, and just clean up what don't, don't nobody like to do. And I feel like that's what you mean by that, just doing the nasty work. <laughs> when you, I think I know what you mean. What what what, what does the nasty work mean to you? Uh, I feel like things that people don't want to do. You know, just just being coachable, just just doing the little things. I feel like it don't really like. I don't. I gotta ask him that question as well. <laughs> to see what you mean by that. So I just think he might about the little things and just getting prepared, just doing things that people don't want to do. And then, you know, Trevin, um, he, he's obviously had a long road back from the knee injury. How good was it to see him play the 19 minutes the other night? And what do you think he could maybe help help you guys with the sort of the team defense you guys are going to have to play on on ED? Uh, I feel like he got to bring the toughness that he had at Houston that he uh, how those guys were were taught. I feel like everybody got to bring what they do best to the table and just put everything together and just we got to use all that for Saturday even. And I feel like it's going to be the best way to just stop those guys for everybody to come together, just let all the egos alone, just build in on team, 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 just focus on defense and just let the offense come to us. I'm sorry, I was asking about, about Trev and maybe what you've seen from him, you know, recovering in recent weeks and – and how good was it to see him play those minutes the other oh, night? Oh, and, TB? Oh. TB, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. he been, you know, he's he haven't been playing live. So just to see him out there going live, you know, just see, you know, you can see his strengths and you can see what he liked to do out there. I feel like he was a little nervous a little bit until, you know, he until he just started letting the game come to him. I feel like. The more he practiced, the more comfortable he'll get back into it. And I feel like he's getting it, getting his swagger back, you know, as the day goes on. Okay, thank you. No problem. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.